Welcome to measurement. This is the second part of measurement. And of course, uh, in this video, we'll look at parameter, area, and volume. This video is for grade 10, 11, and 12. Starting off with the definitions, what is parameter? Parameter is the distance around the shape. And the area is the space inside the, uh, a 2D shape. And of course, how much a 3D shape can hold, all right, uh, would be your volume or capacity. The capacity of a 3D shape. All right, let's put that to application. Starting with the square. All right, of course, a square has all its sides equal. How would you calculate the parameter of a square? You just add the sides. Uh, remember, the definition of a parameter would be the distance around the shape. So you'd add the four units of uh, AB. You would add the four units of BC, add plus the four units of DC, plus the four units uh, of AD. And of course, that is how you would calculate your uh, parameter. Just add the sides around the shape. So it would be four centimeters, excuse me. So four centimeters plus four centimeters plus four centimeters plus four centimeters, which will give you 16 centimeters. All right, so that is parameter. Uh, just add uh, the length around the shape. Okay, and of course, area is the space inside the shape. So if we were counting the blocks, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our area would be 16. But of course, we want to use the formula. And the formula is side times side. And of course, for a square, all sides are equal. All sides are four. So four centimeters times four centimeters would give you four times four, 16 centimeters squared. Moving on to a rectangle. All right. How would we calculate the parameter of this rectangle? Of course, we'd want to add the sides. Want to add that side plus 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 that side. Okay. Uh, all right. So we need to determine the two missing sides. And of course, if we draw a vertical line over there, this becomes much easier. We know that uh, this, the length of the side is 10. So if this is four, this must be six because six plus four will give us the 10. And of course that's five corresponding to that length and this is three. So which means the side will be eight. Okay, and now that we've got all the sides, we can calculate our parameter starting there, which is three centimeters plus six centimeters plus five centimeters plus four centimeters plus eight centimeters plus ten. So to calculate our parameter, we'd of course add all those sides, three plus six plus five plus four plus eight plus 10 would give us 36. So our parameter for this shape will be 36 centimeters. And of course, if we are gonna calculate area, then we need to calculate it in two parts. Uh, so we'd calculate that area there, A, and then we'd calculate that area there, B. Okay, so, and of course, these are rectangles, and this is the formula that we use to calculate the area of a rectangle. So let's start with area A. Okay, for area A, the length is five and the width is uh, four. So we'll say five 
times 4. Okay, that's area A. Area B, the length is 3, and the width would be 10. All right, that's your area B. 4 times, 5 times, 5 times 4. So the 5 times the 4 will give you 20 centimeters squared. 3 times 10 will give you 30 centimeters squared. And of course, if we add the two areas, we get a total of 50. 20 plus 30 is 50 centimeters squared. And that's the area of the shape. Let's move on to the triangle. All right. This triangle, our dimensions are given in feet, but the question is asking you to calculate those dimensions in centimeters squared. And of course, uh, the conversion has been given. Uh, one foot is equal to 30 centimeters. Okay. And remember, we need the base and we need the height. So our base is equal to 5 feet. And of course, we want to change that to centimeters. And to convert from foot to centimeter, we multiply. Uh, so we'd multiply by 30, 4, 8. And of course, this will give us, let's check that, 5 multiplied by 30, 48 will give you 152,4 centimeters. All right, so we've converted the 5 feet to centimeters. Now let's go to the height. And of course, we are given a height of three, so three feet. And of course, we must also convert that to centimeters because we have to calculate this area in centimeters. So we multiply again by 30, comma, 4, 8. All right, so three feet. Converted to centimeters will give us 91,44. Okay, so this is 91,44 centimeters. Now, now that we've got our dimensions in centimeters, all right, both the base and the height in centimeters, now we can use our formula to calculate the area. So it's half times base, and we know our base in centimeters is 152,4 centimeters multiplied by the height, and of course our height is 91,44 centimeters. So when we multiply that out, half multiplied by 152,4 multiplied by 91,44 will give you an area of 6,000 6,967,728 6, and of course this is centimeters squared this area is always squared so we move on to the circle. All right, for a circle, the distance around the circle, we don't call parameter. The distance around the circle is called a circumference, okay? And of course, the space inside the circle would be your area. Important to note is uh, the radius, the relationship between the radius and the diameter. And of course, the distance from one end of the circle to the other end is your diameter. So this is the diameter. Okay. And the distance from the center to the end of the circle 
is called a radius. Okay. Of course, that would also be from the center to the end, so that would also be radius. All right, so if the diameter is 14, then your radius would be 7. Because 7 centimeters plus the 7 centimeters will give you the 14. All right, so let's look at the questions on the circle. All right. Uh, the formulas for your circumference and your area will be given in the exam. So uh, all you have to do is to be able to use them. Okay, so let's uh, look at the circumference, the distance around the circle. All right, uh, we want to calculate the circumference, and that's the formula. It's 2, uh, there's pi there, so 2 times pi, the value of pi is uh, 3, 142. The value of pi will also be given to you in the exam. It doesn't change, it's always 3, 142. Remember, pi is a number, and of course, we have to multiply uh, it by the radius. So it's 2 times pi times radius. And remember, here we are given a diameter of 14, so our radius will be 7, half of that. Okay, so multiply by 7 centimeters. So if you go to your calculator, 2 multiply by 3, comma, 1, 4, 2 multiplied by your radius will give you a circumference of 43,988, okay, 43,988 centimeters. All right, now we come to the area. Uh, okay, the area must also be calculated in centimeters. So we can go right ahead. So pi, that's the value of pi, 3,142, that number doesn't change, multiplied by your radius squared, and of course, our radius is 7, so we square it. Let's go to our calculator again. So we've got 3, 142. And we multiply this by the radius of 7. And we just square the 7. 7 squared. And of course, this will give us 153, comma. 958, okay, 958 centimeters squared, okay, area is always squared. All right, let's move on to volume. Okay, volume is pretty simple. Okay, the only trick here is we've been asked to calculate the volume in centimeters cubed but the dimensions are given in meters. And of course, here we need to be able to use our distance converter. We know that uh, one kilometer has a thousand meters, and one meter has a hundred centimeters, and each centimeter has 10 millimeters. Okay, so we wanna convert the meters to centimeters because we need to calculate the volume in centimeters cubed. So we want to convert the meters to centimeters and so we'll multiply by 100. Okay, so we need to multiply each of our dimensions by 100. Starting with the length, the length is 3 meters and of course we want to Convert it to centimeters, so we multiply it by 100, which will give us 300 centimeters. And our width is 2 and a quarter, so we're going to multiply that also by 100 to convert it to, so these are meters, so we multiply it by 100 to convert it to centimeters. So we have 2 and a quarter. So we multiply it by 100 
and of course that will give us a width of 50 centimeters and finally the height the height is four and a half we will also multiply that by 100 okay so we've got four and a half multiplied by 100 will give us 200 centimeters and of course to calculate our volume we multiply uh, the length times width times height so it's 300 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 200 should give us our volume so let's work that out so 300 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 200 will give us a volume of 3 million okay so our volume will be 3 million and of course volume is cubed because we're multiplying uh, three units of measurement so that would be 3 million centimeters cubed let's look at the rectangular prism again we need to do some conversion here because our dimension are given in centimeters but the question uh, is asking for volume in millimeters cubed so we need to convert our centimeters to millimeters again our distance converter each kilometer has a thousand meters each meter has a hundred centimeter and each centimeter has 10 millimeters so if we want to convert uh, centimeters to millimeters so we'll multiply by 10 okay so let's start with the radius we're given a radius of 8 centimeters and of course we want to convert that to millimeters so we'll multiply it by 10 and we get a radius of 80 millimeters we have a height of 15 centimeters but then remember the question wants the volume in millimeters cubed, so we convert the 15 centimeters to millimeters. 15 times 10 will give us 150 millimeters. Once we have our dimensions in millimeters, we can then substitute into the formula to calculate the volume of the cylinder. Right, there's the formula for the volume of the cylinder. Volume equals to pi and of course we know the value of pi doesn't change it's always 3,142 and will be given in the exam and multiply by the radius and the radius in this case is 80 so 80 millimeters squared don't forget the square multiplied by the height and of course the height is 150 millimeters Right, so we go to our calculator to work that out. It's 3, 142 multiplied by 80 squared multiplied by 150. That will give us a volume of 3 million and 16. 320. Of course, this is volume, so it will be millimeters cubed.